der ist hier bei mir. Ups, nur 33. Andreas hat mir jetzt genau gezeigt, wie das geht. Mit der ausziehbaren Schiene. Ich gehe hier dann auf 33. Ich brauche aber 35. Dann kann ich hier unten den lösen und fahre hier von 33 dann auf 35 raus. Am Dienstag war ich bei, äh, bei Draghi von Special Works und ähm, er konnte mir das nicht erklären auf seiner Tischkreissäge. Draghi, jetzt weiß du auch, wie es geht. Und ich kaufe mir bestimmt dann auch die Maschine mit dem Auszugbahn Tisch für meinen neuen Werkstattwagen. Danke Andreas für die Erklärung. So the fence of the shooting board of course has to be square and I only have this very short square which is not ideal so Lucas brought two longer ones this one and another one and we first test if the squares are true um, by flipping them over so we put the square here make two lines flip the square and then the lines should align with the square and we realize that this one is a little off as you might see or might not see here on camera it's half a millimeter maybe three quarters of a millimeter off which is not ideal for a shooting board so we try the other one new attempt Pencil has to be sharp as well. Flip over. And this one is absolutely true. Both lines align perfectly, so we use this square. And now we can use this to glue down the fence.
Welcome back to my shop. Today I'm very pleased to have Lukas Jenny from Jenny Swiss, um, another YouTube channel that I'll link to in the description, here in my shop and we had a wonderful day building a shooting board together and as usual we learned a couple of things and as usual we'd like to share that with you. Lukas. Thank you. Um, heute haben wir um, den uh, Winkel umgeschlagen, das heißt wir haben den Winkel in zwei verschiedenen um, Positionen aufgelegt und haben festgestellt, dass von den drei Winkel nur einer wirklich genau ist. Ja, yeah, that was an important lesson that I learned. I really like to I really appreciate that I have a shooting board now because I've wanted to build one for a long time, but the exactness of this fence was really something that I struggled with because I wasn't sure if my if my squares were actually true. And now with Lucas' help and his ideas, um, we, we tested the squares and he had one that was actually true, so we could make this shooting board. And of course, if you make something that is used as a reference for squareness, then this something should be absolutely true. And now we tested it with a couple of pieces of wood and it really works really fine and I'm very pleased with that. So my lesson that I take away from this is um, you can have um, measuring tools that are not really expensive, but you need one measuring tool in your workshop that is absolutely reliable, that you can use as a reference. And Lucas just told me that he has his reference tools that are known to be square or true, marked, so that it's clear the marked ones are the ones that are absolutely reliable. And that was a very important lesson for me and I'm sure going to do that with mine as well. I have one or two small squares that are true and I, I think I'm going to invest in a larger square that is a bit pricier that I can know to be reliable. So that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching and thanks to Lucas for coming to me. It was a real pleasure working together and chatting and exchanging ideas about YouTube and making and so on. So it was a real wonderful day. Thanks a lot to you as well. And always remember to watch, learn and then make something.